McCarthy. Sir, Donna Brazil just a moment ago on this program said that Nancy Pelosi is going to be putting forward a proposal that she thinks actually would be something that could get the government back open. Have you heard an inkling of this? No, because their majority leader, Steny Hoyer, when he just did the colloquy giving the schedule for next week, he didn't have one piece of legislation um, to go forward next week. What's even more concerning, sitting there listening to Speaker Pelosi, it is true people are going to go into their second week of not getting their paycheck, but what Speaker Pelosi just did was give the members of Congress a three-day weekend. She canceled Friday and let people go home instead of staying here and solving the problem. And what Republicans offer on the floor this week and this is where there's good news so we put up three different times to pay the federal employees and when we did it last week we got six Democrats to join with us today we got 13 so we we'll only need six more Democrats but I'm finding a lot of them are beginning to break with Nancy Pelosi when you look at her her chairman of AG he says give Trump the money mm -hmm. uh, the chairman of defense he says yes you should have some bear even Stinney Hoyer the number two says uh, a wall is not immoral so apparently there's some bipartisan group that might come on the floor after these Senate votes fail, if they fail. We're going to see. I mean, Cory Gardner of Colorado, um, Susan Collins of Maine, and Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, Republicans on the Senate side, all with re-elections coming up, but want to, they're going to vote for both bills, I suppose. Um, at some point, do you think that the pressure is going to build, um, just because from a humanitarian perspective, um, th these workers are being made to work, they're not getting yes. paid, and they're having to take some yes. pretty drastic measures. And plus, your know, public health and safety could be at risk. I think that pressure is already there. I, I'm staying here this weekend. I'm asking that all leaders come together tomorrow on Friday and make a pledge to one another that we do not leave the room until we solve the problem. I do not believe it'll take a long time. And think about what the president's proposing over in the Senate to have border security and deal, deal with DACA. Last year. Then Leader Pelosi made, uh, made history. She spoke on the floor, the longest anyone has ever spoke on the floor, and she did it over one issue, DACA. She shut the government down over DACA. And you know how our government's created. We're supposed to find compromise, common ground. Those are two big issues that both leaders have talked about. We can deal with both of those and get the government back open. The, the most difficult part here is Speaker Pelosi refuses to talk. But do you think that, I mean, she, they're frustrated that um, the president did not give indication he wasn't going to sign that um, bill and now th th that this, could, this didn't even have to happen at all. And now you have Republicans who are trying to wage a battle against a message problem. If you look at this Fox News poll last night, not great for the Republicans. Um, if you ask people, how, do you think the government shutdown or the border is a bigger problem? An emergency or major problem, 75% said the government shutdown, only 59% said the border. So I feel like the Republicans are a little bit behind the eight ball here. And you know, I wish your viewers would see actually what took place on the floor. It was the Republicans who offered to pay the federal workers. We didn't just offer, we put it on the floor. And we only had six last week, but we got 13 Democrats this time. Mm -hmm. uh, Speaker Pelosi is, is a very strong leader, and she holds her members back, even in forcing them to do things that they don't want to do. Mm -hmm. she, just, she just forced Congress mm -hmm. out of session, gave Friday back a three-day week, right. while 800,000 federal employees are going to miss their second paycheck. Mm -hmm. That's wrong, and we should solve it. And you do wonder if that will actually start to boomerang against the Democrats by you know, leaving for the three-day weekend when everybody else is, that's uh, furloughed is in a panic. I wanted to ask you one other question. Um, there's sure. Been this question, could there be a bigger immigration deal that gets done here that solves all the problems people have been talking about for a long time? You know, if the president is willing to do that, do you think that the Republicans could help him get that, that to the table and help solve a lot of these problems once and for all? Look, I spent a month in my office last year working every day with the number twos on the other side from the Senate and the House. It is not something you could solve overnight, but I think there's a willingness on both sides to solve this problem. I know there's a willingness from the president. He's the first Republican president I've seen go lean in so far of how he wanted to deal with immigration and change from DACA and others. The most difficult part here is something that Nancy Pelosi, the speaker, made history by speaking the longest ever on the floor. The president said, let's do that, and she says, I don't want it. She is the first president in history to disinvite a president for the State of the Union. Mm -hmm. I'm one who actually 
actually believes now more than ever, America needs to see all of us together talking about the challenges that we have right now from the House, the Senate, Republican, Democrat, mm -hmm. the administration. I think it'd be very positive for the American public. And it's not just about America, it's about the rest of the world. All right, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, thanks for coming on today.